Hello and welcome to this OrthoModel Pro video tutorial where I'm going to show you the two new tabs in the advanced editing tools for scans. So in order to access this I first need to import a scan. So I can do this, I'm just going to create any new job, I'll select anatomical orthotic for now and import a scan file. And this one contains a number of errors, so there's holes in the scan data, there's some larger triangles around the forefoot, things which we can edit. And you can access the advanced editing tools whenever you see this icon. So it appears on this import scan step, but also after you've aligned the points and you want to edit either the insole or the scan, etc. And whenever you click it, a form appears. And the interactive tools tab was already there. It allows you to smooth or add or remove material manually. But the two new tabs are hole filling and triangle tools. And I'll cover the latter of those first. So the triangle tools options allows you to add a new triangle based on three defined points or delete a number of triangles from your scanned mesh. So the triangle creation works, you can simply select add triangle, you enter triangle creation mode, click three times and it'll create a triangle between those three points. And you can keep doing this over and over again until you select cancel within the form. Once you do this, you go back into the selection mode. And there's two types of selection, there's box selection and lasso selection. Box selection, which is the default, allows you to click and drag an area and it will select all triangles within that area. And you can do this a number of times to add triangles to the selection. And once you've done this, you can select delete selection to get rid of all the triangles highlighted yellow or undo selection to clear all of the triangles that are highlighted. The lasso selection works in a similar way as elsewhere within the software. Whenever you have a lasso symbol on your cursor, you can click multiple times to sketch a bespoke area, close the curve, and it will select all triangles within that area. And you can combine the two. You can use a box selection and a lasso selection to select multiple regions at the same time. And I think I'll just delete all of these for now. So I've also got numerous holes within my scan data. And the hole filling tab allows me to deal with these. And there's three modes of doing so. Use central node will pick a point within the center of the hole boundary and create triangles from that point to the boundary edge. And this is the fastest method, but it's probably the least precise. So it's useful to use on holes such as this one, which are small. Simply select the boundary, it'll highlight yellow, and then select apply to apply the fill. Whereas if I use it for something like this larger hole, then I may get a few errors. If I rotate the camera to a view which highlights the errors, you can see that all of the triangles have been created from the central point which creates a rough sort of surface. It doesn't look smooth at all. And this might be good enough depending on your purpose, but there are other options better suited to this hole. So I'll go back to the triangle tools, lasso select this region again, and you'll see the triangles created using the central node method are quite large. And I'll just delete my selection. Back in the hole filling tab, the planar cap mode allows much cleaner filling of holes on flatter surfaces. So with that selected, I can select my boundary again, select apply. And the fill in general is much smoother. It's just around the edges where it's a little bit rougher. And this is because this method selects the plane of best fit within the boundary and then uses triangles at the edge to merge that plane in with the rest of the scan. But looking at it more closely, it's not too much of a deviation. It might be good enough for a selected purpose. However, if I try and use a planar cap for a hole such as this one, which curves a lot, so it's on the planter surface but also on the lateral surface of the scan, it might not have a very good effect seeing as the planar cap only uses a single plane. So I'll select the boundary, apply this and show you now. It hasn't followed the curvature of the foot at all and you can see these rough triangles at the edges where it's tried to fill in the plane to the scan. So I'll go back to the triangle tools and delete this again and show you the last option, curvature cap. And curvature cap unlike planar cap, follows the contours of the mesh that it's attached to. And you can adjust how accurately it does this using this distance between cap node selection. 
Now the smaller you have this value, the more accurate the whole filling will be, but also the longer it will take to calculate and the more dense your mesh will be for future operations. So future operations may take longer. I'll set this at one millimeter for now, select the hole and apply my hole fill. And it still seems a little rough around the edges, but if I scroll round, you can see that it's actually followed the curvature of the side of the foot, so it's a lot more accurate, but it does take the longest amount of time of the three. So you can use your own common sense as which ones to use in which situations. So something small like this, I'd probably use a central node or a planar cap. Whereas something like this one, probably a curvature cap would be best. And you can continue using these tools until you've completely edited your scan the way you want. Again, for this hole in the heel, probably a planar cap or a curvature cap would suffice. Once you're done editing, just click close on the form. And now you're ready to continue with the rest of your job creation. Thank you for watching this Orthomodel Pro tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you again soon.